It is one of the biggest rivalries in all of college football. And you know, it's played right here in Jacksonville. And now the Florida Georgia game may be searching for a new home. Yeah, and so a change in venue definitely would have a big impact here. Both schools are now exploring options of playing the game on campus or staying here on the first coast. Alex Osides is on your side. He joins us live tonight with details. Alex. Heather and Jeannie, in 108 days, this parking lot will be packed with people yet again. And it's been a game that's been held in Jacksonville since 1933. Now is a talking point of its future. Uh, so, I mean, I, I think that you can make arguments on, on both sides of why it should stay in Jacksonville, why it should leave Jacksonville. Straight from the mouth of Florida's head coach Dan Mullen, uncertainty whether the annual matchup will continue in Jacksonville. His counterpart at the University of Georgia, Kirby Smart, also addressing the question at SEC Media Days this week. Smart told the press, quote, you build a $3 million facility at your home location. You want to develop a relationship with those kids, and every opportunity you miss is one to get better. Both schools have said that in the past, they're looking at if the game should move to campuses instead of a neutral site. But the thought of leaving town sparked a tweet from Mayor Lenny Curry, who said negotiations with both schools have already started. In the current contract, schools earn $250,000 to appear and then split $6 million from ticket sales. And so when you're dealing with that type of scale, uh, you're going to have uh, the same issues that uh, a, a regular business would would have. You're going to be concerned about marketing. You're going to be concerned about location. The weekend long event makes about a $30 million impact on the area and hundreds of thousands of tourists show up as well using downtown facilities. Mate says that while the talks are still early, it may spark uncertainty in some potential investors. May be paying attention to this, especially if you're going to be uh, considering opening up a storefront downtown that is going to rely on tourism. That may be a concern. The current contract is set to expire after the game in 2021. Reporting live from TIAA Bank Field, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.